Hey up, chatter gang. We're back in Leeds on Sovereign Street and this is Brasserie Blanc, which is probably the poshest restaurant we've reviewed. It's that posh I put my pearls on. Because he's Colin. He's Tim. And together yeah, we, we are, are the Chatter Guys. Guys. Come on, let's get in. That's if you're Larry's in. So Colin, what are your first impressions of Brasserie Blanc? Really nice, it's a nice surroundings, uh, comfortable, right by the riverside. And uh, we got here early and we accommodated straight to this table. And uh, the waitress was, took us orders within five minutes we were sitting down, so really impressed with that. So Tim, what's your first impressions? Uh, I like it, the staff were very friendly, as you said, we were shown to our table straight away, uh, it took care of us. Nice uh, surroundings, I have to say, very noisy as you can probably tell, not you can hear me. And it's very dark, we had to get the torches out on our phones so we can read them in there. If you like what you've seen so far, please give us a like. And if you don't want to miss out on any of our future videos, please subscribe. It'll cost you absolutely naught. What did you think of your starter, Colin? I had cheese souffle that I've never had before and it was so light and fluffy tasting. That's one thing. But the cheese that came with it was absolutely beautiful. I really enjoyed that. I could, I, I'm going to definitely have cheese souffle again if I have an opportunity. Beautiful. So Tim, how was your starter? I have to say, I'm not sure what I've eaten because it was so dark, but I remember from the menu it had mushrooms and artichokes. Uh, the reason that I ordered it was because I thought I'd never had artichokes before, but when I tasted them I realised I had. But it was absolutely delicious. Um, I will look up what was in the salad when we get home and I'll, I'll put it up here for you to see. But, uh, although I'm not sure what I ate, uh, it was so nice. Best salad I've ever had. Uh, I just wanted to show you what the gents toilet was like. There's nobody in here, so we'll have a quick look around. Absolutely spotless. No nasty smells or anything. Nice plastic plants in the corner there. Nice bit of soap. Yeah, the toilets get a thumbs up from me. I think they're going for that. Yes. Colin, what did you think of your main course, which was of lamb roulade? Yeah, well, to start off with, I had two strings of carrots, which was probably just right for me because I've still got a bit left. You, yeah, you didn't eat all your veg, did you? I had, I had definite potatoes. However, I would have much preferred mashed potatoes. The lamb was not. The lamb was not. The lamb. The lamb was not uh, too bad, but it had stuffing in it, and I'm not sure if stuffing goes with lamb. But anyway, it, it were alright. Yes, uh, I agree with you 100% on that. Although I did eat all my carrots, uh, it was alright. Uh, actually, I thought the lamb was. It could have done with being a little bit warmer. And it was quite dry, which is quite difficult with lamb because it's usually too greasy. Um, also, it came with a little pot of something, and, and you had some way to do it. And you said it was uh, a mixture of red wine, lamb stock, and uh, a little bit of salt. Well, it just tasted like salt. Horrible.
and I'm so glad that I dipped my carrot in first to say this is huge for it all over your land, this is how you say it. Um, my final bird on the main course, keep it all right. I'm disappointed because I thought it would have come with custard, so it's crazy. <laughs> This is the most messiest, weirdest. <laughs> what is it that means? I've even forgot what I'm eating. Treacle pudding and orange. Orange treacle pudding, yes. Wow. Colin, you've already shared your views mid pudding. What are your views now that you've finished your dessert? I'm not. Yes. Well, I would not be able to recommend that at all. Absolutely fine. Right. I don't know if you can see this. I don't have any foreign objects in my mouth, and that was absolutely <laughs> vilest. Oh. No. Well, I quite liked it. The reason it was so messy to eat was because on top of the sponge, the topping was hard, it was a, a circle of hard topping. So when you tried to cut into it with your spoon, it didn't cut it and it just squashed the whole sponge. Um, the dessert tasted more of marmalade than orange, uh, which I quite like. The only thing I would say was there was a lot of orange zest in there, so it was a little bit too bitter, and you know what would have offset that? A nice helping of yellow custard. So there you have it, Chatter Gang. Uh, that's our dining experience at Brasserie Blanc. Colin, how many stars are you going to give it? Well, we don't do half star ratings, so that will only get a two. Two stars. I think that's the lowest rating you've ever given anything. <laughs> Why is that, Colin? Well, for a start, I've got a banging headache. It was so loud in there. And for two, the setter's on this table next to the river, and it feels like I've been sat in that river all night, freezing. And it started off really nice, fantastic starter, then it went downhill from there. Yeah, our, my starter was absolutely delicious. The rest of the food was... Mm. Um, the whole dining experience, the bill came to over 100 quid, and we've had much better dining experiences for half that price. Uh, so for me, it's two stars also. So I'm guessing it's maybe not going to get the Chattergang stamp of approval? Absolutely not. No, it's not getting it. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you don't want to miss out on any of our future videos, please subscribe because it'll cost you absolutely not. Thanks for watching Chattergang. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye.